Hey, you too. What's up? Alex in the Briar Cave, man. How are my pipe smokers doing out there? Uh, I'm going to try to do a short video today. I, I actually made a video uh, yesterday, and I freaking made it too long and had a hard time uploading YouTube, so I'm going to keep this under 15 minutes. And just a little bit of what's going on. Took a trip to California. Had a had a great time. I'd like to give a shout out to all the guys at the uh, LA Pipe Club, man. Nice meeting you guys. We had a good time. I'm out of I'm east of Dallas in Texas, so we're having some great weather here. 70 degrees. Ride the motorcycle. It's been it's been awesome. We just got back from da uh, from Camp Pendleton. My son's in the Marine Corps. You heard me before the videos. And he had a 21st birthday. Matter of fact, he has a, a little. Uh, his YouTube is Pipe Hooligans, him and his girlfriend. So if you get a chance, give those guys a holler. They're, they're actually fun to listen to. But we took him up there, went to uh, uh, Stone Brewery and had a had a great tour, did some craft beers, and and uh, we, had, we had an awesome time. What a, what a trip. But we was up there, and he said, man, Dad, he said, uh, the, uh, the pipe meet meet up in, in Los Angeles is going on uh, this past weekend. So he said, man, we ought to go. And uh, I said, sure, let's go, man. So it, it was awesome. Those guys were, we had, we had a great time. Never been to a pipe meetup before. And everybody brings their tobacco and they put it on there. We just, we sample, you, you, you check everybody's stuff out and you meet some, just some great folks that are in the, in the, in the pipe uh, industry. Oh, by the way, let me tell you what I'm smoking. <clears throat> My little Savinelli alligator. And I'm smoking Seattle Pipe Club Deception Pass. That's some good stuff. Actually, my boy had some of that up there, and he turned on some some pipers, and uh, they were like, "Man, that's some good stuff." I'm also drinking a little bit of. I got me a little shot of Glen Fittich right here, 12. Friday night, we're off work, so that's a good deal, right? And uh, just going to kind of recap, and on our our trip, we uh, we were in California for about four or five days, and, and again had a great time, and went up and uh, I don't know if you've ever been to the San Diego area. We, we drove down there and, and did a, a tour of the craft brewery, Stone Brewery, and man, what what very interesting. Uh, I'm, you know, I drink beer, smoke cigars, pipes, my main thing, uh, but. Uh, we set up a tour and the, and the cool thing about stone that the tours they're not expensive like five dollars five bucks but they sell out so we booked one day and we couldn't make it so we lost that twenty dollars for about four of us so we booked the next day we couldn't make it and we lost that twenty dollars so the, five, the third day we made it and it was kind of funny we took uh, me and my wife and my son and his girlfriend Sydney and and uh had a great time. They give you a tour of the brewery and they take you through and show you how they make the craft beer. And they have a beautiful garden in the back and you can sit out there and grab a beer. And we were thinking, man, if you could smoke a pipe, it would be perfect out there. But uh, what a great trip. What a great visit. Man, I, I know a lot of us are either far down south or we're up north. Some of you guys that we talked to up, up in uh, the northern area, but we got to be jealous of that California weather, man. It is phenomenal. Just, just uh, I'd get up and run in the morning. Just a beautiful blue sky, 72, 73 degrees. Just, just a great time. And uh, had, had a blast. Also went to a, there's a place. Um, just it's in Laguna Hills, which is north of San Diego, south of Los Angeles, by about an hour. And there's a place called the Tobacco Barn, and uh, that's a neat little tobacco shop. They got a you know what, uh, a good pipe store there. Tom is uh, say hello, Tom. Uh, he's got a, actual, a YouTube out there, but he uh, always takes care of my kids when they're out there. So I want to give him a big thank you. And he was such a great host. Man, turned us on some new tobaccos, and 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 uh, I bought a pipe from him. Bought this new uh, Clark's favorite right here, kind of Savinelli, kind of cool. And you know when I go to those guys. <clears throat> I know these these uh, places they don't make a lot of money off us pipe smokers. I mean, the internet sales hit a lot of people pretty hard, and, and then you know we buy our pipes 
where we want to get them from. But if I go to a, a place, I try to reward the, the brick and mortar stores because those are the places where we get to go and have pipe meetups. And, and uh, so if I ever go there, I try to buy a couple of tins of tobacco and pick up a pipe or something like that. And this, this is a great little smoker too, man. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, smoker's good. But Tom, we'd like to thank you for the, for the fun time we had down in California. We're back in Texas now. And tonight, I'm gonna do a, uh, actually I did a video last, two nights ago when I got back. Apparently, I went over my 15 minute mark and then I verified my YouTube and anyway, YouTube's kind of picky and had a tough time uploading it so I'm gonna be kind of easy tonight and not go past it. But I've got a little Yabo, a box opening. So we'll open this one up. We will use, this is the Benchmade B, BM51. We're in the knives here also, so I'll be opening this little box, this uh, package up. Show you guys where I got the mail today. It's it's not sent from anybody. It's it's ordered from me to my to myself. But man, uh, the Strauss Tobacconist had Sleepy Hollow. They did it. If you're not familiar with this, man, the Dagners turned me on to this about a, uh, back in October, and, and they were telling everybody about it. And basically, what it is, it's just an awesome tobacco. It's an aromatic, but man, it's it's. It was actually the first aromatic that I smoked, and I wasn't wasn't excited about it. But it just—I got two pounds of it, so they did a one day. They only make this blend in October, so when that comes around, you guys can try it out. Sleepy Hollow by the Strauss uh, Tobacco Company, and so, somebody sent me an Instagram. Actually, my my son did. He sent me an Instagram, and, and then the Dagners had it on theirs too, and so they were doing a a one day sale for the celebrating the. 29th of February for 24 hours for uh, that tobacco. So I'm in. I'm like, let me give me two pounds of that because my kiddo, when he tried that last year, he's like, Dad, I love this stuff. Problem is, I only had about four or five ounces, so I gave him a majority of it. And I said, go easy till October gets here. So we did that. And then my next one, this little box opening here. Let's see what I got here. Uh, if you're familiar with the Esoterica tobaccos, man, I got. Uh, Esoterica, you know, they make Penzance. They were out of Penzance, but I did get some Woodbridge here. So I'm going to try that out. Uh, and I'm not even sure enough to tell you guys. I, one of my guys at the pipe meet, Dan, man, he had this Margate. I believe it's Margate, and it's a it's a full English tobacco. Again, it's by Esoterica. And the thing about these Esoterica tobaccos, I, I got to try Penzance, and it was it was awesome. And uh, they just don't, they only, they're hard to find. Every, every site, you know, everybody's sold out. So what they had on Cup of Joe's website, they had a couple of these. This was called Blackpool. I got that. And I got, again, Esoterica Hastings. Right here, And I can't even give you the description because really, whatever they had, I just ordered it. And some of this is gonna be uh, aromatic and some of it's not. Ramsgate. Some of you guys may leave a comment. Y'all may have smoked some of this stuff before. And I, I have not. The only thing I've tried from them is Margate and then Esoterica. And then again, they had a big old thing of Margate. This was actually good. One of the guys at the pipe meet had this. And, uh, oh, yep, yeah, I forgot I ordered this. The new edition of the Pipes magazine right here. Kind of cool. And, and, man, the shipping was quick. I ordered this just like a couple of days ago, like two days ago. And they the sucker was at my front door uh, today. So I figured I would do a, a box opening. Uh, literally, I haven't opened the box for just now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check some of this stuff out. Maybe I'll smoke some on the video for you guys and tell you what I think about it. Some of y'all may have smoked uh, some of that esoterica type of tobacco before. I've never, I've tried Penzance and Tom up in uh, California, he, he gave my son some. <laughs> and I hear everybody talking about it and it's just the, the best thing. So I didn't wanna build it up too much in my head and, and not like it. but. And that's pretty good. It was, it was a good, it's a good old English blend. So uh, I asked somebody why they only make that a couple times a year. And Dan, one of the guys at our pipe meetup in Los Angeles, said, "Man, there's there's the reason Esoterica 
it's sold out. If you go to uh, smokingpipes.com or tobacco and, pipe, tobacco and cigars, it's just, you go under es Esoterica, it's always sold out. So, which makes me go, I want to try this stuff out. And he said, man, there's basically there's five guys that make this tobacco and they don't really have to do it. They just do it when they do it and they ship it out and they decide to make some more, they make some more. So I figured I would get it, throw it in a cellar. And, uh, and the thing is they only had the, in the Margate, they had the small one, 100 grand 10, but most of it was just big old, you know, $30 bags. So I got plenty to stock up on. I'm still gonna keep my eye on Penzance. They didn't have any Penzance, so. But if y'all tried some of that, tell me what you think about it. Uh, I'd like to hear what you got to say about it. So I did order a couple of new pipes. So I got a pipe coming in. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's kind of cool. I went to the Middle Earth style pipe. My my kiddo and I were Lord of the Rings fanatics. So we, uh, not not me as a fanatic as much as him, but I liked some of the old uh, Middle Earth church wardens and cool pipes like that. So I got one of those coming in the mail from Germany. And I'll, I'll uh, put down the next video. Uh, but pretty much nothing much happened here. Just got back from a trip to California. And I've been enjoying you guys' videos that have put them up. And that Glenn Fittich is pretty good too. But, uh, I'm excited to try these tobaccos out. Other than that, nothing pretty much different. It's just a Friday night. Had a good trip and enjoying the weather down here. Oh, there's my wife coming in. So to the door. You want to say hello, babe? You want to get on video? Um, Peek <laughs> over here. So this is my wife, Michelle. Y'all see her? My beautiful wife right here. No. <laughs> That's it. Y'all, you don't want to know why I'm coming out here. So. I come to see if you want to add anything to this little laundry. <laughs> yeah, she wants me to do laundry now, see? <laughs> so excuse that, that little interruption. No laundry, babe, we're good. Okay. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get tied into that in a minute, probably. No, we're actually planning a trip tomorrow. We're going to Dallas. We're about 120 miles outside of Dallas. We're going to go in for a birthday party tomorrow, so. We're going to leave out in the morning, and I wanted to make this little video before it, uh, before I didn't get a chance to do it. I really enjoy watching the YouTube videos and the YouTube uh, pipe community, and so I want to be part of that. Actually, we're looking at going to the Chicago Pipe Show, so uh, I've never been to a pipe show. I'm going to go to Nashville this year for sure. Uh, that's going to be kind of cool. I'd like to meet a lot of you guys out there on YouTube that, that uh, put out videos and stuff, so hopefully we'll get to meet some of you guys. And if we go to Chicago, maybe some of you guys will be up there. Just kind of a, a reason to go to Chicago smoking grandpa bones i know he's in that area so maybe he'll show up to that show anyway i'm gonna let you guys go we're at 13 minutes and i don't want to go over again so this thing won't upload so hey this is a good night from the briar cave and hope to see you guys the next time we'll tune in i'll make a video next week and show you how some of these things smoke later